What do you see as the most pressing issues facing Oxford and how would you seek to resolve them? Um, unfortunately, kind of recent events have kind of brought into focus that the relationship between the town manager and the board members and the, you know, the board members between each other is kind of unfortunately escalated to a situation where I feel that that's kind of the most immediate concern. It's not that there aren't other things that are very important, it's just that that has an immediacy that other things maybe don't necessarily have. Um, and a lot of these questions, they kind of, in some ways, kind of um, encroach on each other. Um, and so I think that, you know, whoever's going to be coming into the board has to be ready to, to try and build consensus and to address the fact that there's a perception that, you know, certain things aren't allowed to be brought into meetings. And um, there just, there has to be kind of a vent valve, you know, for residents, for the select board members, so that things can kind of be out there and discussed and kind of the heat let off before it gets to a point where it's just kind of a blow up. And, um, you know, so in that thread, I've already promised certain, you know, constituents that if I'm, if I'm elected, I would be pushing to bring back a public comment period at select board meetings. If the other select board members don't agree, then I would have my own forums with whoever select of the select board would like to come, you know, for voters to come and express whatever they wish to tell the select board. Um, it's, you know, there, there had been a comment period for a long time. And um, I know that some people have a perception that if you just have an open comment period, kind of only crazy people will come and just kind of waste everyone's time. And I feel like that's just kind of part of the job. You know, if, you, um, if you're gonna be an elected representative, you know, just part of the commitment is you have to be willing to hear people out even if they're way off topic and not necessarily productive in what they have to say. It's just, and I feel that, you know, a lot of those people that when you give that to them, they kind of eventually after they've kind of said their piece, start to kind of move on from that and, you know, providing that opportunity I think would be constructive. What do you see as the most pressing issues facing Oxford? Well, How would you resolve I them? think under normal conditions, there was, this would not be a uh, the top issue, but it is a top issue. I think there's a, a great deal of uh, disrespect going on. I think it's a complete lack of communication uh, between the current selectmen with one another and with the town manager. I think some people think the chain of command is we have the town manager, we have the board of selectmen, and we have the citizens. Well, the chain, in my opinion, the chain of command goes the other way. It's the citizens, the board of selectmen, and the town manager. And if we don't have a smooth flow of information and communication with that, all the other things you talked about aren't going to be solved. So I think that's the number one issue right now. I think it's very important that the selectmen set goals for the town manager. And they give her the tools that she needs to achieve those goals. I'll give you an example. Um, we talked about, uh, we talk about, uh, let's see, what did we talk about? Well, let me backtrack here a little bit. I think it's also important that the selectmen meet with the town manager personally, at least quarterly, to discuss the progress, a lack of progress on her meeting those goals, uh, and, and to discuss any roadblocks uh, that we can help her with. I think that's very important. I, you know, I worked in the private sector for a lot of time. I dealt with a lot of businesses. And the ones that made it had management that had good goals. They gave people the tools they needed to succeed. And they met with them on a regular basis. That has to be done in government. And I don't see that happening right now in our town. And that's one reason why I'm, I'm, I'm running. Um, the other thing is, it's a two-way street. There are a lot, there, there are selectmen. I'm on the planning board. They have no idea the things that the planning board is dealing with, right? We, we've got, we're dealing with someone right now that if, if this project comes through, it'll be in the top five as, as far as a taxpayer for Oxford. And I'll elaborate on that in a few minutes. I'm willing to bet most of the selectmen don't even know that. So they need to know what's going on and the town manager needs to communicate with that, that with her. So that to me is the number one pressing issue. Again, I, we can elaborate on some of these things further down, but I hope that answers your question.